pressure has been mounted on President Akufado to reshuffle his ministers who many say have poorly performed. Supporters and members of the governing MPP have not been left out of the cause. Party supporters say the non-performance of certain ministers, including Finance Minister Ken Uforiata, has resulted in the current economic challenges the country is facing. But the president disagrees. Nane Kufado says the kind crop of ministers are what he needs to revive the economy. The president says he has no plans of reshuffling his ministers. Uh, people are people. People are making a lot of noise about this matter. Okay. But several of the people who are responsible for st assisting me to steer the country out of the difficulties that we inherited, okay. and out of the difficulties that have subsequently come, are still in place. Okay. And many of them, for me, have done an outstanding work. Their output has been considerable. And, it, and that's what I look at. Okay. The issue about reshuffle or the performance of ministers, it isn't as if it is something that every now and then my mind comes to. Okay. It's a daily preoccupation for me. Yeah. I'm required on a daily basis to ask myself whether the output of particular ministers is up to the mark. But I yeah. am the final yeah. authority. And yeah. if, if they're not up to the mark, I'm required to act. Yeah. But if the output measures the expectation then I don't have any strong reasons to, to, to heed the call. Okay. I'm not d disputing that there is a, 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 a quite a lot of attention on it, but I also think it is important for us to have a really holistic look at this matter okay. and be certain of what we're, what we're doing. But as I say, um, I, it's not, no responsible leader, president, prime minister will announce, I intend <laughs> to reshuffle my, no. If you're going to do it, you do it. If you're not going to do it, you just continue. Nanel Kufado also appealed to Ghanaians to exercise patience as government works to address the current economic hardship. And we are determined to work our way through it. Okay. We did it when I first came into office, and I'm strongly of the belief that we can do it again because the policies are, 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 are sound. Okay. They are about putting Ghana in a strong place. Okay. For the time being, There'll be a lot of up and down, people talking and saying, yes, the difficulties are there. Yeah. And I'm not. I'm the last to want to, to minimize the difficulties. They're there. They're affecting the lives of ordinary people in a very negative way. Okay. But what I'm saying to the people of Ghana is continue to have confidence that this government that took our economy from one of the lowest growth rates in our modern history when I came into office okay. in 2017 and brought it up to one of the fastest growing economies in the world. Okay. That this government that did that, this government that was able to steer Ghana through the COVID pandemic. Okay. When the COVID pandemic came, there yeah. were people who were predicting gloom and downfall <laughs> and that the, the, the streets of Africa, Ghana, places are going to be littered with dead bodies. Okay. This government took some very significant proactive measures to minimize the impact of the COVID pandemic. Okay. We have